Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. Okay, so when you, you, know, when you first start trading options, because, as I mentioned, most traders approach options after having a little bit of a background in some other type of trading vehicle, future security or currency. And you're probably pretty comfortable with the directional aspect of options. You know, you, you heard someone say, hey, you know, why are you buying these currencies? You could buy a call and you can get so much more leverage. Or, you know, why are you buying the currency, you know, when instead you could buy a put alongside it and protect it? Or, you know, you could do a covered call with it and, you know, and do all these things, you know. And most of these things are sort of revolve around directional trading. <clears throat> it's very natural for us to think about trading directionally, but I'm kind of spending a lot of time on this only because there's more to options than direction. We're going to start here, though. <clears throat> Let's say you're looking here at the AUX. Are you guys familiar with the AUX? That's the uh, Australian dollar. That's U.S. dollars per Australian dollars. U.S. dollars over Australian dollars, right? So if the AUX is trading at 108.90, we can look at an option chain. And, and I selected this option chain here. Any option-friendly broker will uh, be able to provide you with this, certainly. <coughs> And I, I, we're, just looking, uh, we're just looking at the calls here. Now, options trade much like stocks where there's a bid and an ask. And here we have a $1.33 bid at a $1.45 offer. OK, so here's kind of the question. If AUX goes up by one full point from 108.90 to 109.90, how much are we going to make in our calls? Hmm. Well, that's a good question. Now, it's kind of intuitive. It's kind of intuitive to think, well, you know, obviously if the call goes up, or excuse me, if the stock, excuse me, if the currency goes up, I make money on my calls, but, you know, exactly how much? Probably the answer is not exactly what you think. Now, here's how we answer this question. We need to look at the options delta. Delta is the rate of change of an option price relative to a change in the underlying currency. <clears throat> okay, so now for those of you who are taking notes, these are the pages here that are important. These are the things that, that it's pretty darn important to write down. OK. So if we look at, say, the 109 strike calls that, again, are $1.33 bid at $1.45, we see that the delta is 0 0.4970. Wow, you know, with all these numbers on the page, you know, and, and, you know, we've got several decimal places out. If you've never looked at this before and you're not familiar with this, it could, uh, it, it could look a little bit intimidating. But it's really not. All this is is the percentage that the option price will change given a change in the underlying currency. So this 0 0.4970, that's 49.7%. So the idea is if AUX goes up, whoops, if AUX goes up by one full point from 108.90 to 109.90, we'll see the price of the 109 calls go up 49.7%, or about 50% in value. Or, excuse me, 50% of the move of the underlying. So if the underlying rises by a dollar, we see the calls rise by 
50 cents. Now, I chose to kind of do this in a sort of non-academic way, and I wanted to, you know, kind of let the rubber hit the road here and actually use a real exam, you know, a real option chain with a real example to make it to make it realistic. Because if you do this very very simply, you know, and just put a single number on the page, you go there tomorrow and you're like, oh man, what was that guy talking about? You know, it all looks so neat and clean on his pretty little slides. <clears throat> But looking at this option chain, if you you know if you really start thinking about exactly what this means, if AUX goes up from 109.90, you know, and I'm telling you that the price of the 109 call is going to go up by 50% of that, or in this case, 50 cents. You know what what price? What does that mean really? You know, look at this. It's 133 bid at 145. I mean, you know. Arguably, we can kind of be a little philosophical here and say, well, what's the price of this option? Is it 133? Is it 145? Is it something else? Well, you need to kind of think about that because if you're making trades, you, you're likely to be selling on the bid or buying on the offer, at least pretty darn close unless you're doing a spread. <clears throat> so here's how you think about this. When I was a market maker on the floor, I would look at a what I would call a theoretical value or fair value. And that's a number pretty much smack dab in the middle here of the bid and the ask. So let's see, 145 minus 133 is 12, half of 12 is 6, so about 139 is fair value. So, okay, so if AUX rises by a buck and the call has about a 50 delta, right, then the call will rise by about 50 cents, so it'll go from 1.39 to 1.89 for fair value. And then we know the bid's going to be a little lower than 189, and the offer's going to be a little higher than 189. So that's kind of one way to look at it. And the other way is quite simply, you know, if you're a seller, you know, you know you're going to be probably selling the bid or, or around the bid. You can just look at that as the value as well. You can say, okay, well, right now the bid's a dollar thirty-three. If AUX is a, is you know one full point higher, then I anticipate the call being about one eighty-three bid. And I can make the same justification for the offer if I'm a buyer. Hey, if it's at one forty-five now. If it goes higher and I want to buy, I'm going to have to buy at 195. And the same thing if it goes lower. That delta again is a percentage is the percentage that the option moves based on a movement in the underlying currency. So if the currency goes down, the call's likely to go down also. If AUX goes down to 107.90 then the price of these calls are going to go down by 50 cents, 50% 50 of that move. So that would be about 83 cent bid at 95 cents. See how that works? So, okay, now why do we care about this? Well, because this is the most important thing you need in your decision-making process. A lot of people draw P&L diagrams. In my book, I... I don't call them P&L diagrams. You know, profit and loss is what P&L stands for. I call them at expiration diagrams. Why? Because they're diagrams of the profitability at expiration. Those diagrams only matter if you hold the option all the way until expiration. If you're buying a call and holding until expiration, you're doing something dreadfully wrong. And you're not going to last very long as a trader. A lot of strategies are short-term strategies. You hold it for a couple days, maybe a couple weeks. Even some of the strategies like income-generating strategies that are generally longer-term strategies that you have to hold nearly to term, you're almost always going to close those out before expiration when the risk-reward isn't there anymore. So those diagrams, are, are they're pretty useful but they're not nearly as useful as the Greeks for trying to understand, hey, if this happens, this is how much I'm going to make or lose. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. 